And this makes you feel... Allison, you're my gynecologist, not a shrink. Well, you know, in a way, I'm also a shrink. Very often, women come in with distended clitoral hoods, which I surgically shrink to relieve a painful discharge during urination. Yinka's gonna love you. I'm really nervous. I've never been on a blind date before. Well, you can't feel self-conscious. You know, sometimes it's hard to find a man. Oh, I know. Statistically, it's much harder for intelligent, articulate, successful black women to find a man compatible with their level of achievement. You know, sometimes I give up all my looks and intellect to be more like you and find a man I could settle for. Well, get ready to settle. I can feel my vaginal secretions running down my perineum. Oh, 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 I'm going to make that ass say my name. Whose pussy is that? Who owns that shit? Wait, don't go. You got a problem, you know that? You need Jesus. Things, uh, things kind of tight. Pass tight. Randy is visiting his uncle, Johnny Law, three to six months. Mm. I had to apply for welfare. First time ever. I'm sorry to hear that. Jeez, and the paperwork they make you fill out. They even had to take blood tests to prove Randy's really their father. They cracking down. Here, well, I'll, uh, I'll keep my eyes out for work. Okay. Oh, we'll be okay. <laughs> Ooh. What? <laughs> Nah, this kid acts like he wants to be the next Eagles place kicker. <laughs> oh, you know, long as I'm here, um, can we get my sonogram out of the way? Um, you know what? I'll check with Peter, but I got a procedure of my own. I don't want to be away for her. Okay? Mm-hmm. Thanks. Lou! You gotta help me. Dina, what's going on? I got a call from the DA's office. They got charged me with welfare fraud. What did you do? Nothing. It's that damn blood test they gave us. They say in the DNA don't match. Okay. Listen, if Randy's not the father to one of your boys, now's the time to come clean and have the real father pay up. Randy's not the problem I am. It's my DNA that don't match. Just be nice. Greer Jefferson, I am always... Nadine. Cookie, when I took this job, the deacon didn't tell me he talked to you, too. I'm sorry. It must have been disappointing. No need to apologize. I, I'm thinking about getting up the choir anyway. Oh, I hope you don't do that. You have a lovely voice, and you're a very important part of this choir. Well, with all those new tenors, I'm sure you're not going to miss one alto. <laughs> Cookie, I am paid to direct the choir, not date them. Mm-hmm. You know, if you're going to sit in judgment on me, you should at least know the truth. I was married for 10 years to a man I loved. He died six months ago. So no matter what you and your little group have decided, man hunting is the last thing on my mind. I'm sorry I wasted your time. And mine. My husband died five years ago. And I still sleep on my side of the bed. I keep thinking the door's gonna open and... He's gonna walk back in. Mm-hmm. So, um, <clears throat> I understand you're in the medical field. Mm-hmm. I'm a sniffer. You're a what? An armpit sniffer. You're an armpit sniffer? Mm-hmm. I'm an armpit sniffer. I sniff underarms. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are crazy beauty, brains, and humor. I love it. I love it. Oh, oh no, 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 no. I'm serious. I'm an armpit sniffer. If you don't believe me, you can look it up on the internet. Mm. Okay, well, listen. Oh, I just... I'm confessing that I love you. Tell me, do you love me too? I'm confessing that I need you. Honest, I do. Need you every moment. In your eyes I read such strange things. 
Last night, your faithful reporter was privileged to watch Josephine Baker perform at the Apollo Theater. Mr. Winchell. Miss Baker. It is such a pleasure to finally meet you. It's a pleasure for me, my dear. I must thank you for that wonderful review. You know, you should come to Paris sometime and teach our critics how to write so poetically. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that. I'm going to do that, I promise. I look forward to it. As do I. Enjoy your dinner. What does a person have to do to be served in this place? Anyone, s'il vous plaît. I was angry. I was angry at Alan. I was angry at you. I was angry at this whole family for treating me like I didn't belong from day one. So yes, in my anger, I did one stupid thing. I, I told Ben about the Cyberlink bid. I knew it. Dad. I knew you couldn't be trusted. Dad, please. It was wrong. And believe me, I regret it. But I only did it because I thought I was being left out again. Nobody at that company worked harder than I did. Nobody tried to live up to the Spalding name more than me. And what did I get in return? You got what you were entitled to. I That's got what? a slap in the face. Uh, you treated me like nothing. Well, obviously, my instincts were dead on. Dad, please. No. Maybe not, but there was a reason. I felt like no matter how hard I tried, I would never be accepted in this family. You would never treat me as if I belonged. That's why I went to Ben with the bid. To hurt you like you hurt me.